Sketch the graph of f of x as negative 0.1 by x plus 3 squared plus 5. So, like the previous example, does it open up or down? Well, since a is negative, this will open down. Right, a is less than 0. The vertex. The vertex is negative 3, 5. So it's in that form, a times x minus h squared plus k. Notice that x plus 3 is the same as x minus negative 3. So we can think of it as x minus negative 3 squared plus 5, and so then negative 3 is the x-coordinate of the vertex. Vertical intercept. f of 0 would be negative 0.1 by 0 plus 3 squared plus 5. Negative 0.1 by 3 squared is 9 plus 5. Negative 0.9 plus 5 is 4.1, so that's 0, 4.1. Now since the parabola opens down, this vertex will also, we know, be a maximum. So plotting some points, I've got 0, 4.1. Oh, let me plot the vertex first. Negative 3, 5 is here. 0, 4.1 would be, oops, sorry about that, 0, 4.1 is here. Now, again, using that symmetry idea, there's the axis of symmetry. So this point is 3 units on one side of the axis. So we go 3 units on the other side, and we would have this point at negative 6. Um, 4.1. So now let's find some other point on the curve. How about when x is 2? Now let's go a little bit further actually. How about when x is, I'll say, 6? So what if I found f of 6? f of 6 would be negative 0.1 by 6 plus 3 squared plus 5. Negative 0.1, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 squared is 81 plus 5. So that's negative 8.1 plus 5, and that's negative 3.1. So I have 6, negative 3.1. 6, negative 3one and then symmetry, 6 is 9 units away, so go 9 units on the other side. That would be 12, negative 3.1. And so there's the rough sketch of the curve. And so it would be increasing, reaches its maximum, and then decreases.